Здравствуйте, let's act some games. <coughs> Much better. It's me, Sammy, from HackerBot.net or GameJacker. Anyways, so today we're talking about is game hacking legal? A question that I've gotten hundreds of times every time I tell people what HackerBot.net does. That's the first question I get. Oh, is that even legal? It has the word hacking in it. Ooh, it's very dangerous. Oh. Anyways, guys, so of course HackerBot.net is a website that helps you to find legitimate cheats and avoid all the scams and the spam and the malware that you will find out there on the worldwide web when you're looking for game cheats and hacks. Anyways, guys, so let me answer this question real quick, as quickly as I can. I know I have long-winded, winded monologues sometimes, but today we are getting jacked and making this a fast one. So, game hacking in general, if you're doing it for the fun, for the fun, is 99% of the time, absolutely 100% legal, no questions whatsoever, doesn't matter where you are, unless you're in South Korea, okay? Don't cheat if you're in South Korea, especially in online games. But that's the only exception, okay? If you're, are you in South Korea? No? Okay, then download aimbots, mods, whatever, you will be fine. But, but you will say, you will say to me, eh, eh Sammy, game checker, check it guy in the internet, why? Is in the ag in the in the in the terms of service in the TOS. Okay, that's what people always come with. Oh, in the terms of service, the TOS is saying I cannot do the cheating. That means I go to the prison if I do it. No, that's not how it works. So, the terms of service. Okay, HackerPod.net has a terms of service as well. If you want to read them, they're down here somewhere uh, in the <laughs> non-mobile version. Okay, so the terms of service are the terms that govern the contract that you are entering in automatically when you're playing the game, okay? It's a contract between you and the developers of the game and the terms of service only are about that contract that you are entering at that moment, okay? If I write into the terms of service of HackerBot.net that you have to give me a hundred bucks, that's not legally binding. I can't sue you because you're not giving me a hundred bucks just because I write into my terms of service, okay? People, terms of service are not law, else everybody could make law by just writing a few terms of service. That's not how it works, and deal with it, okay? That's just how it is. So, don't worry about the terms of service. The worst thing that can happen to you if you break the terms of service is your account gets banned in the case of online games, which, of course, today, in order to sell more gems and stuff, Almost every game is an online game. So if you're running some kind of bot mod, whatever, as long as they don't catch you, they don't ban you, you'll be fine. And it's 100% legal, even if they ban you, no problems, okay? So where it gets a little bit... <laughs> Let me just get my hacker face on. Shady, who? Where it gets a little bit shady is when <laughs> people try to make it their job to cheat in video games. That is where it gets shady. Uh, so, an example for that is, if you're running stuff like on an industrial scale, like let's say you're running a bot army in some kind of mobile games to farm gems and then you're selling the gems on eBay or whatever, that is where it gets shady because that can be argued in front of a court to be unfair competition because you're competing with the developers of the game to sell those gems. And I'm just going to take this off. I know I look less like a hacker if I do that, but... Oh, just gonna have to deal with that, won't you? Deal, deal with it, okay? So if you're doing things on a industrial scale, if you're making money, that is where you are running into trouble. So if you're selling cheating software, you're running into trouble. Maybe, it depends on the country. There is such a thing as jurisdiction. Of course, every country has their own law. Just because something is illegal or has been ruled illegal in one country doesn't mean it's also like that in another country. So I'm in Switzerland. Um, if something's ruled illegal in the US, Switzerland doesn't really care. Switzerland has to go through its own process, go in front of the highest court in the land, and then we have precedent, okay? That's how it works. It's on an individual basis. I can't tell you whether one thing that you're doing is illegal or legal for sure. In the end, a court has to rule, but generally, if you're doing it for fun, there is basically no court case in any country except South Korea, 
where that has been deemed illegal. Now, if you're making money, if you're creating cheating software yourself and selling it, that has been ruled in many, many, many countries to be not, well, unfair competition, okay? Again, not strictly speaking illegal, it's on a case-by-case -case basis, but has the potential to be um, very, well, illegal, okay? People didn't go to prison for it, but they had to pay a lot of reparations to, you know, to the developers of the game. Now, if you're running bot armies, same thing. If you're selling items, same thing. If you're selling accounts, same thing. If you're doing something else, like for example, DDoSing the servers, denial of service attacking the servers, that's gonna cause financial damages to the developers as well. That is basically, you're creating damage. So <laughs> it's like creating property damage. You're creating financial damage by um, destroying the server, not destroying the servers, but you know, keeping them busy. That can also be sued. Of course, Again, if you're just doing it for fun, which 99.9% .9 of you guys are, you will most likely be absolutely fine in 99.9% .9 of cases. And just use your, you know, use your judgment, your best judgment, you know? Um, I, I believe in such a thing as common sense. Now, if your common sense is telling you, maybe I shouldn't do this because um, it's gonna make a lot of people angry. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna create damage by you know shutting down servers. It's I, I'm I'm making thousands of bucks by selling the in-game currency. You know, big stuff like that. Use your common sense. You know, you're you're taking a risk there. Let's say, but again, in the end, there's jurisdiction. Um, in the end, it has to go before a judge. That's how law works. Just because the text says something. That doesn't mean it's legal or illegal, unless it's something like murder, okay? But even then, you have to go before a judge, and it has to be ruled to actually be murder, and not manslaughter, and not an accident, and so on, right? So, in the end, with law, it always has to go in front of a judge. The judge has to make a judgment, all right? There is no clear lines. Uh, well, there is clear lines, <laughs> but you, you know if you have crossed one of those really clear lines. Like... If you, I don't know, if you murder someone with a gun, yeah, that's a clear line, right? <laughs> but there's, there's a lot of gray area, and especially in this internet age in which we find ourselves in, in which the law is not really caught up yet with the internet whatsoever, um, usually it has to go in front of a judge, and usually the developers of, and, or the publishers of a game will have to invest a lot of money in, to actually sue someone. So. It's not in their interest to go in front of a court. It's going to cost a lot of money. Their, their lawyers are going to be busy. Uh, and for you as well, there's no uh, incentive to actually go in front of a, a court. And if you ever get legal letters from a company, I <laughs> recommend you just settle with them. You be nice and, you know, just settle out of court somehow. Be nice. Okay, be nice. There's no... It's fighting really only benefits the lawyers and nobody else. So anyways, guys, that is about the legality of game hacking. Generally, it's absolutely legal if you're doing it for fun to just play the game and have a, a little bit of a cheat, right? No, 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 no judge is going to be like, oh, this 14 year old kid, he wants to cheat in the video game. He go to prison until he 80 years old. Oh. That's not how it works. Anyways, guys. I wish y'all all the best. I hope you've learned something and uh, get ginjacked.